All right, guys, now we're going to be doing some upper body stretching, and Jay's going to give us a little rundown of what we're going to do and what we're going to be stretching. Awesome, guys. So what we have here is we just have a simple jump stretch band, so you guys can buy these online. They're at most major fitness suppliers. Uh, these are a great tool for allowing us to get a little bit extra stretch through our muscles and our joints. So we're going to be going over an upper body stretch routine, focusing on the pecs, the lats, which are two of our bigger upper body muscles. We're also going to focus on stretching out uh, the back of the shoulder and our tricep as well too, which is a great, um, just is a great warm up or cool down stretch before your upper body days are after. Perfect. Let's get started. Awesome. So now what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to do our upper body stretch routine. So what you're going to do is you're going to set the jump stretch band up here on the squat rack or any sort of rack that's going to be overhead. Uh, now what Nikki's going to do is she's going to loop into the band and then she's going to grab the band like so. Okay. Now so for the last stretch, she's going to come back here. She's going to almost squat down into a hinged position. Okay. And now what I want her to focus on doing, the lat runs from our pelvis all the way up to our shoulder. So we can actually increase the lat stretch by twisting our pelvis away. We, because it has such a broad span over the whole thorax, she can get stretches by twisting her thorax this way. She can twist her thorax the other way. Okay. She can twist her arm into external rotation, into internal rotation, all while hitting different angles. So this one's a great one to find that spot that you feel the biggest stretch and really focusing on opening that up. Okay. So now we're going to go into our pec stretch. So she's going to go into the same grip that she had there in the last stretch. Okay. She's going to extend out here. Again, we want to focus on our rib flare control, so she's got to be nice and tight through here. We want to focus on having a nice open shoulder. A lot of times people will come in with their shoulder like this. So you want to focus on opening up that shoulder, and then she's going to focus on twisting away from her shoulder and the band, focusing on getting length through her pectoral muscle. And you can see if that shoulder was forward, it would actually have a reduced length first if it's nice and opened up like she's doing here. And again, she can like kind of move around with it a bit. She can take her twist off. She can twist into it. Just like with the last stretch, that could be a bit more dynamic. And how long should I be holding these stretches for? I would say when you're warming up, you can stretch in a dynamic fashion. So keep yourself moving for 30 seconds to a minute. And if you're cooling down, you can stretch for one to two minutes and can maybe be a little bit more static in the position of tightness. So this next exercise we're going to do, we were doing the lat stretch and the pec stretch, now we're going to go into a cross body stretch. So she's going to take the exact same grip she's done, okay, and now what we're going to do is she's going to twist into a cross body stretch position. Now this is a stretch here for our posterior delt, our posterior rotator cuff, and for some of the shoulder blade muscles like our middle traps and rhomboids, okay. So what I want to focus on here is can she let the band pull her across? And then can she twist her upper body into a compact position where this is opening up. So she should feel a stretch here, ideally, but she might also feel a stretch of her shoulder blade getting pulled away from her spine, which is also good too. So this is a great way when people are almost too retracted in their shoulder blades, which can be a thing, for us to open this up. And it's also a great way to open up the posterior shoulder which can be a very tight, uh, restricted area, which can lead to impingement and pinching of the shoulder. Okay, so this next stretch, we've moved the stretch band down to the pole of the squat rack or a pole of a large piece of equipment, okay? And now she's gonna take the same grip she's done, okay? She's gonna move forward and get that elbow up, okay? Now the key here is the biggest mistake you will make, again, is flaring those ribs to do this. Because this is all tight, so what do they do to complete the range of motion? They flare up. So we got to get that down. Now that tricep might be lower, but now what we need is can she get that tricep back, get this nice opened up position, and she can come forward a bit to get the stretch more, all while keeping the ribs just a little bit tighter. That's a great stretch for opening up the tricep and lat area. If you're having any trouble with overhead ranges, this can be a great stretch to help open that up. 